Hey everyone, thank you for joining me. It's good to see you again. As I always mention, there's a lot of people making a lot of content, goofy shit out there. So if you are hanging out with me, it is much appreciated. And we're going to continue on with our discussion of narcissism, what it's like to be around a narcopath, and why they are the way they are or how they're getting away with this kind of behavior. I maintain, as I have before, without naming any names or naming any groups, that the people who are currently influencing our issues and social, this well, it's social engineering, if you will, our society, even laws, things that you can say and things that you can't say, that the uh, they have created a, uh, a template, if you will, that fits very well with the narcopaths. If you try to tell the truth in, in any form or fashion in almost any place today, you're going to get censored. You're going to get shut down, whether it's by people who just simply don't like what you have to say, or in some places that it's even, even illegal to question certain things. Isn't that amazing that you can't have an open and honest discussion without somebody attacking you in some way, even if you're pointing out the perpetrators, the people who are doing what they're doing. And doesn't that sound almost exactly like when you tried to, and I know I tried as well, sometimes it actually did work, um, when you tried to expose the narcopath that you knew, it falls on complete deaf ears or people who are actually protecting them. It's just kind of the same issue, isn't it? It's the same thing. It's, um, what's the, the word I was looking for? Like fractals. It's a uh, microcosm and the macrocosm are kind of sort of the same in the funny how that works in the past and some of you may be um, maybe not as old as I am but I remember in the past way back when when I was your age you couldn't get away with this stuff it was pretty much understood that you were going to speak truth and that if, or as you know it and that you weren't going to get shut down now it's as if people get rewarded for telling lies people are rewarded for being deceptive the more uh, the more deceptive you are the greater the rewards in this current social setting which is really really sad this has become such a problem um, in other forums I try to talk about things that I know and I'm 100% sure that I'm right about and when you try to tell people what's going on they simply don't want to hear it I can't tell you exactly on the I'm, I'm not stupid enough to uh, engage in conversations that are get me get me shut down or censored because otherwise I wouldn't have it. It's, it's not smart. There's nothing you can do, especially if you're showing your face on these platforms. You you'll they're <laughs> at the least they're going to shut you down, and at the most they may you know cancel culture your whole life. People are really really vicious now, and if you try to point out the the perpetrators, then you'll find out just how vicious people can be. Indoctrination and propaganda works very, very well. It's, it's the trademark of a narcopath. They know exactly what they're doing, when they do it, completely planned, and they know the effect or they wouldn't do it. This is how, this is their, this is their business model. This is their MO. That's what they do. And there's so many because there's so many at the top right now. I can't even name one that I trust. Can't name any of them. Nobody looks good to me right now. And it's unfortunate that that's what we're going through. We're in a really dark time. The folks that have the power to influence it are going to continue. There, there's nothing that we can do. I don't think that's going to stop the current trend of behavior of those in charge and their followers. These are their minions, these people that do what they do because they can. All this, it used to be that the court system and I've talked about this before, the court system was was designed to, it's designed to, um, for justice, but they don't, the like the narcopath, I'm going to tell you, the narcopath that I was with, they didn't use it for her and her attorney, and they didn't use it for justice. They weren't using it to hash out what was best for the kids when I was in family court. They were using it as a fucking weapon against me, period. And I went in, with the idea that I was going to be honest because the court will, you know, they're going to listen to you. And sometimes they do, but you, you have to learn, this sounds really crazy, but you have to learn where you can be honest. Sometimes you just have to shut your mouth and sometimes 
like I have to do on this channel most of the time because I can't tell you exactly what I want to tell you. Uh, when you're going into court, you have to learn how to play their game. And I don't want to do that. I wanted to do what was right. But there, you sometimes have to do the wrong things for the right reason. So going into a, a court battle with a narcopath is you have to learn, this is so sad, you have to learn how to twist the truth. Unfortunately, that's what you have to do. You have to learn to play their game. And some of us are having to try to expose the, what's going on. And in that, people's minds have been, been so distorted and things are so corrupt that they, they won't listen to you, even if it's a large piece of the puzzle. They're not going to listen. They're too comfortable. Things are going to have to get really, really hairy before people start to listen. There are some people that are going to have to miss a few meals before they wake up and listen to what's going on. Things are in the hands of psychopaths. These are the worst people that we've seen in millennia. They're all they're they're all in charge. Uh, well, they're in charge of nearly everything, and they're in cahoots with each other. People say, "Well, that's not a conspiracy." Well, bullshit. People conspire. They're conspiring. How do you think that this is happening? It's not just by accident that that society has been turned nearly upside down by a handful, a group of really evil fuckers. You know, how? Really? Uh, seriously? You know, when people get together to, to design buildings or manufacture things or, or anything, build cities, you know, there's a lot of planning that goes into this. So what makes you think that people aren't planning this? What makes you think that this is just some big accident? Well, it's just the way society goes and history repeats itself. And no, I'm not buying that anymore. I'm not buying that. It's bullshit. It's bullshit. These people are, are, they're evil to the core. They don't see themselves the same as you or I. And um, they're bent on, on, on destruction, on destroying what we have. And they've done a great job. They've done a great job of mixing people up and ruining people's lives and changing laws and changing things and, and even erasing history and changing stuff that's, that you and I both know. You look around like, well, I don't remember it being that way. And you're telling the story completely wrong. This is what they do. It's a complete inversion of reality. So if you're trying to wake anybody up about the people that are currently influencing us or the people at the narcopath knew, good luck, because it's very, very difficult. So my solution is to continue to expose people when I can. If you, if you, I've even, that doesn't even work. So I've even showed people proof positive of what I'm talking about on the macro scale and I've showed them on the micro scale with the narcopath and they still won't believe you. So I don't really have any solutions on that today. I'm not coming to down you or anything, but my God, man, things are really, really in a mess. And, um, you know, we kind of got to just stick together, I guess. You know, if we're having these conversations, eventually it's going to, it's going to have to break. Something's going to have to break. Eventually the people that are, like I said, causing these, the cause and effect is very, very real and it never takes a day off. Who is the cause of this? Eventually, they're going to have to be brought to justice, period. And so are the narcopaths that were around us. It, it will happen. Cause and effect is very, very real and it never takes a day off. No matter what your persuasion is, no matter what your religion is, we all have some sort of belief. Most of us have some sort of belief that there's going to be a time um, of reckoning with these with this these monsters is what they are and you know what i'm sorry if people don't listen to you they don't listen to me a few of you do and if you are still hanging out with me it really is still appreciated i didn't want to uh, go another week without making some content for you it's um it's always appreciated when i uh, come to you and hang out with you for a minute so anyway kind of a rant not really a big topic but something i had something happen today that just showed me that people are just stupid. They really are. Just stupid. If I'm the smartest guy in the room, we're all in trouble. Okay, so let's hope that we find somebody that is smarter than what I've got going on here because I cannot solve these problems. So, all right. It's good to see you all again. And I thank you, and I hope to see you all again real soon.